Alright, so for this project we're going to be working on the cacti project and the first thing that I want you guys to do is actually research cacti, which is just the plural of cactus, and succulents. So succulents are just plants that grow in the same kind of soil and weather that the cacti do. After you get that done, um, you're going to also research Aztec or Native American designs. Those are going to be what you're adding to your pot. So you'll also find on canvas some different pictures of the cacti, okay? And then I also added some of the Aztec and Native American designs in there as well, just so you can get an idea um, about some different designs, okay? So, once you get your ideas going in your head, and this is an example of a really nice one that was done a couple of years ago, then you're going to start drawing your own ideas on a piece of plain white paper. First thing that you're going to do is draw an oval. So you can see here, I've got my oval. An oval is just a squished circle. Then you're gonna decide how you want the sides of your pot to be. Now I just had mine come straight down, but the really important part is to make sure that the bottom of your pot curves and follows that same curve that that one did. Okay, if you don't do it like that, and you just draw a line straight across, your pot no longer looks three-dimensional. Once you get that done, you're going to start adding the designs to your pot. Now when you do that, you want to be sure that you are still following that curve. Okay, see how I'm still following that curve? If I just draw a line straight across, that is not at all what you want. It makes it look very straight and flat. Once you get your designs done on your pot, you're going to go ahead and start adding your cacti or your succulents. Now you need to have at least five. You may show me your paper and I'm going to say, eh, maybe you need a little bit more than five. So here I've got five drawn. Um, I've also got a line right here and here. This is to show that my pot is actually sitting on a table. You don't want to have a Harry Potter pot that's just floating out in the sky. So you have to add the line there and the line there so that it looks like it's actually in the table. And you can see I've added designs to my pot right in here. I also started adding my cacti. Now what I want you to notice, I've got five different kinds. This is a succulent, this is a succulent, and these three are cacti. They're different sizes. They overlap, so one is in front of the other. They also have this down here, which is a dirt line, so that it actually looks like each plant is planted in the dirt. And then back here, you've also got another dirt line, and that's just the dirt that's kind of piled up in the pot. It's rare to see a pot where the dirt goes all the way to the very top of the rim, because then everything would just be falling out. So once you get to this point, you're actually going to submit your picture to me on Canvas. If we do not have Chromebooks yet, you'll be showing it to me. And if I approve it, then you'll move on to the big watercolor paper where you will recreate this exact same um, drawing. I may give you some pointers or tips to make it a little bit better. And you would just kind of add that to your practice drawing and then you will end up putting it on your big watercolor paper. Now your watercolor paper is very expensive, so we only have enough for you to have one sheet of that. Um, once you get your drawing done on your watercolor paper, then I will show you guys how to go through and color it. So right now I'm gonna go through and show you some examples that kids have done in the past. Um, this one's really nice. Lots of different kinds of cacti, lots of different colors, very bright. The sky looks realistic. Here is an example, and it's pretty good. Um, I would have liked to have seen some different colors with the cacti. They got kind of sloppy in here. It would have been better if we didn't see full on lines with the colors up in here, but the pot is interesting, um, and they do have their dirt lines, and they do have their table line. This one's really good. The only thing that I would say to improve on this one is we should have drawn a dirt line that kind of followed that edge back there because you don't typically see dirt going all the way to the top. 
Same thing with this one. The other thing is when you're working on your sky, you don't want to end up with what's called a bullseye, which is what they've got going on right here. Okay, that's a bullseye. This pot looks really great. It does have five cacti. I would have preferred that they add more because they have all this empty space. There's no dirt line in the background. It is a Harry Potter pot. There's no table line. And it is totally rare to see this kind of stuff happening in the background in the sky. Um, if you were to mix these two colors together, you would get green. If you were to mix um, the purple and orange together, it, it wouldn't up, end up very looking very good. And the orange and the blue would actually make brown. So when you're doing your sky, we don't want to see full on lines and we want to think about what colors you would actually see in the sky. This is a really great example of what not to do. Um, the pots are not drawn well, the cacti are all the same, and there is never going to be a sky like that unless we're in the middle of a tornado. This one's pretty interesting. Um, the cacti are pretty fun, and then you've got these two cute little lovebirds that are up here, and then you've got their little nest that they've made inside that cacti. This one's not bad, but it's rare that you're going to see stripes in the sky like this. And what happens when you mix orange and blue together, you're going to get brown. This one is great. I don't have anything to say to fix this one. The pot's very interesting. The cacti overlap. They look great. This one would just maybe have needed a dirt line added back there. Beautifully done. Would have liked to have seen a few more cacti in here and then of course our dirt line we should have added. This one we get a little bit of the bullseye effect going on. Um, we needed a dirt line, but other than that it looks pretty great. So what I want you to start out doing is researching your project. Okay. Um, once you've gotten that done, then you're going to start with your design. I will need to see your design that you do and if I approve it then you'll go on to the big paper. Alright so we're gonna stop right there and I'll pick up with more instructions when it's time for it.